she's so confident. I don't know. Risk that <laughs> men can take. This lady will take any with C. She's <laughs> it's, it's serious. It's crazy. crazy. Like so we started crazy. we started um P2P investments back in nursing school. <laughs> If I tell you the amount of money we've lost, bro, and my there, are times, so. there, there are times that Reggie Bell will come to us, like, have you heard of this? And, and how are we going about it? We have to borrow money, we invest, we we'll lose, we we'll go again. Like, yeah, yeah, she's, yeah. She I wouldn't say she's reality. crazy, but she's she's crazy yeah, in she's investment, crazy in yeah, range. but. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's episode on your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. This is the FNF Catchy Dialogues. What do we have today, brother? Today we've got a very special guest. She's so dear to our heart. Yeah. I'll ask her to introduce herself and then we sure. go straight into the conversation. So, my lovely lady. Okay, so I'm in the person of uh, Regina Nanije. A registered nurse in Ghana and aspiring UK nurse. Um, here are my brothers. Yeah. Here are my backbone, back from GH, and still repping. Uh, yeah. Basically. No, and Basically, I think she, yeah. she said aspiring. I think she's already crossed the she's line. She's nearly there. Yeah. yeah. She, the the almost, only thing. Almost yeah, there, the only yeah. thing I'm standing now is her pin and yeah, sure. that's it. But so I think we ask a lot of people why they went to Nets and blah, blah, blah. We're not going to ask you that. Mm. Why the decision to relocate from Ghana to the UK? Okay, so I would say that the current situation in Ghana is hectic. And then before that, uh, I had in mind to relocate because um, looking at what the economy in Ghana and then the practice in Nelson, we could see that there is much difference as compared to the abroad nursing. So I had a desire to come abroad to uh, have more knowledge in the nursing uh, practice in here. So I think um, basically I came to expand my knowledge in the nursing field to know more and to be equipped with the equipment here, used here abroad basically for their nursing practice because we lack most of them back home. And coupled with the current economic crisis in Ghana, okay. so I see basically that's the reason why I relocated So to you, the you didn't come for the money? No. Uh, and she didn't, she didn't come for us. You know? She didn't come because of us. <laughs> Can you imagine? See, uh, I think I'll be with the local language. We can't so, do away with money, you know. The exchange rate is quite huge, so... so at least it's, it's good here. Yeah, it's better here. And I got my brothers here to inspire me. They are my mentor. I look up to them because mm -hmm. they lay yeah. out. They yeah. inspire me to make a good step in life. So yeah. that's it. We continue yeah. the brotherhood here till eternity. So together we stand forever. We move. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. So guys, this lady is um, one of the ladies that She's so confident. I don't know. Risk that <laughs> men can take. This lady will take any with C. She's <laughs> it's, it's serious. It's, it's crazy. Like so it's we started crazy. we started um P2P investments back in nursing school. <laughs> if I tell you the amount of money we've lost, bro, and my there, times, fee, so. there, there are times that Reggie Bell will come to us. Like, Have you heard of this? And, and how are we going about it? We have to borrow money. We invest. We we'll lose. We we'll go again. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, she I wouldn't say she's reality. crazy, but she's she's crazy yeah, in she's investment. Crazy in yeah, range. but she, you know, one thing yeah. I admire about her is that she doesn't give up. No. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't give up. She's just always going, and it's like when you face adversity, she just. I don't know if she kicks the adversities away or. <laughs> She just molds the adversities to be a fool to propel her to the yeah, next step. She, and she's an she's, she's, of she's come so resilience. far because yeah. of resilience. Yeah, yeah we, she, we, she. we really so, appreciate it. So that. I'll ask you this, Reggie. Mm. How are you, quote unquote, surviving as a woman in the world where men play? Like you're literally playing the men's league yeah. as a woman. How do you do it? 
Uh, so I believe that um, what men can do, women can equally do. Eish. Yeah, in quotes, quotes, like <laughs> not everything, but let's yeah. suppose me like 80, per, uh, 80, 90%, women can equally do. Um, I'm from a family of male. Mm. I'm the only female, oh. the last born as well. Oh. And going forward, I love how my upbringing was. I was mm. so attached to my dad. And I, I I faced so many challenges because I lost my father earlier. And then the hardship was quite challenging, mm. but I had to face it. And going forward, I always have in mind that I have, I look at where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and then that where I want to be. Yeah. I want to make it big because big. Uh, big yeah, big. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it big because um, it wasn't easy growing up. Yeah. And I believe that if I put things down right, my children are also not going to lack as I did. Mm. And that keeps me going. And I always want to use every opportunity that comes my way to make a breakthrough out of it. So I don't give up. Mm. I just keep pushing because I want to get there. Yeah. And putting myself first, my family, my mom, I always want to make my mom proud because yeah. uh, my dad wasn't there to support her till now. So yeah. I think that I owe her that. So I want to make everything possible in life as I can. Yeah. But with God be my strength, I know I'll go far and I'll keep pushing. Yeah, this yeah. is so yeah. inspiring. Yeah, great, bro. great, great. So um, you've been in the UK for nearly a year. It's It's been a couple of months, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like seven months. Seven now, months. Yeah? But you've, you've met um, people from all races. Mm -hmm. What would you say? So if, would you say if you had grown or you were brought up in the UK, mm -hmm. your life would have been different apart from the financial aspect mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that anything about your morality mm -hmm. anything about your personal your personal self would, would anything have changed oh, okay so i believe that the structures in uk uh were organized mm -hmm. in terms of uh they say academic wise mm -hmm. okay so like uh being born in this country being a citizen you are entitled to so many free opportunities like schooling you can be uh, be on scholarship to university as far as you want to go mm. you can get there but back home if your family is not financially stable your education will no, be limited no, not to yeah. cut you short but we've got we've got government schools in ghana from primary uh -huh. till and there's free education yeah but that one depends on the political <laughs> like, no exactly yeah, yeah, please, bro, yes bro, bro, and the bro, quality no, counts as please, well the quality please. counts so are you please. saying are you saying please. that uh -huh. government please. schools in Ghana don't have quality no they I attended a government school yeah. in Ghana yeah I came yeah. out with excellent grades but my issue is mm -hmm. you can't compare these two yeah the first time I think it was like my second week in the UK mm -hmm. and I was on a bus and there were, if I'm not mistaken, these um, these young people will be around 8, 9, 10, 11 years old. Mm -hmm. The kind of conversation they were having, brother. Yeah. Were they white or oh, were they Of course. Brits. No, so <laughs> were they Brits? They were Brits. I think it was um, um, a lady of um, a minority and then they were, I yeah. think, two Brits. And the kind of conversations they were having, they were talking about some scientific experiment they had done in school bro mm. kids hmm. in ghana how many you know they're, they're, listen, they're listen. robotics no, class no. my point is my point is my point is if you are not very well to do mm -hmm. back home yeah you probably will not ever have access to certain privileges yeah. in education yeah not yeah. everyone here has do, that access there are private schools here do you know exactly there yeah. are private schools here but mm -hmm. the things that private people are enjoying back home are free here yeah anyways and That's the it. kind of things that we have home mm -hmm. there are people here who don't have it we have doom so <laughs> <laughs> you know like to think that i've been here for what and i've never but there are things that we have to be proud of yeah. coming from most definitely Ghana. yeah, yeah most, most that, one, that people here with that, definitely. that sense of communism yeah. like yeah. You wake up and there are people around 
on your back and call. You can just go to a friend. Mm -hmm. You can die here in your room and nobody that's, knows. That's, exactly. That's very yeah. true. I mean, that's yeah. another side that's that so true. we'll explore later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, back to you, Reggie. Um, what are what are I would say things that inspire you? What things inspire you? What what things keep you moving? Because like I read, we readily established. Yeah. You you are literally playing in the men's league, mm -hmm. and tell us three three things that keep you moving. Okay, so one is that from like I said earlier, from the background I'm coming from, yeah. I want to become a better person. Okay, so that is keeping me going, and I feel like every step or everything that I have to do, sacrifice to get there, I will and I should do it. Mm -hmm. And two, it's about my my family, especially my mom. Just want to make her proud. Yeah. yeah. And then to live a better future for my kids to be and then the next generation as well. I think oh. that's the uh, three things that is keeping me going and I'm not alone and I've never been alone. Yeah, I would say that I have the support of my family and Your my fa family. Yeah. 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 If I'm talking about my family, my brothers, that keeps me in the brotherhood. I'm so much grateful to them for meeting them in, in uh, NTC. I really appreciate it. The way we met was surprising, but I'm ever grateful that. We are here together and we look forward to going far. Yeah. Okay. One one last thing, right? Yeah. I'm coming to your I call it the I call it the intimate aspect yeah. of your, your <laughs> personality. Intimate zone. Yeah. So relationship wise, <laughs> are you in a relationship? <laughs> Single, married, it's complicated. Um, How do you divorce? <laughs> Not <laughs> applicable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so um, re relationship. Um, currently, I'm single. Yeah. Uh, are you searching? Not really. Have you got your eyes on someone? No. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I got my eyes on no one. <laughs> yeah. So if 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 you are watching and you think you are interested, <laughs> just DM myself or Fifi and yeah. you can. Send us an yeah, email. Subscribe yeah, subscribe and then just we'll click, click, click. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, comment it'll, session. Yeah, it'll be a tough interview, but yeah, yeah, sure. I think the toughest will win. Mm. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I think one trivial question we ask everyone to name their top five music artists. Because we like music a lot. Mm. So, your top five music artists. Uh everything inclusive. Or yeah, specific? just any genre, yeah. any genre at all. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, like, Sonny Badu. Okay. Kofi Kenata because he's from the West and everything best come from the West. West, so like West how? West in Ghana. West, yeah. West of Ghana. Okay. Takrade, I mean to say. And then Akwabwa. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Continue. Continue. Um, I call me Eugene. Yeah. Okay. One more. One more. One more. <laughs> <laughs> One last person, yeah. Um, and then um, hey, like really. You are saying hey. <laughs> Moses Bliss. Moses Bliss. Moses Bliss. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, because I like his care, like his strengths of music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Gospel with more of love in text. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I like it. So, uh, any last words for our viewers? Anything you would like to say? Any? advice and yeah, yeah especially for motivation women there, yeah exactly. okay so my words to people out there we love i love you and especially the women i will keep telling you that it's it's never over mm -hmm. and whatever you're going through that's not the end of you keep pushing try to come out of yourselves like don't let whatever depression or whatever demotivation that you're going to keep you on the low. No. Try to let go, reconsider new decisions, new plans, and then come out. You will be successful. Yeah. And you are not alone, my dear. Not alone. You are not alone. Just have in mind that day in day out, you have people like us 
or there's um, our new trend to keep you motivated and then uplifted. So just stay tuned and be positive. You can make it. See you mm. next time. Be positive. Yeah. Okay. So this brings us to the end of our episode. I think uh, you'll be seeing her as well in subsequent episodes. Mm. She's always with us most often. Yeah. yeah. So um, thank you so much for watching. Share this video yeah. and tell someone about FNF Catchy Dialogues. Yeah. Until we meet in the next episode, same. Bless. Peace out.